all is. Uh -huh. uh, just looking at this prescription, uh, the benzoyl peroxide. <laughs> now, I know that I went to the doctors yesterday. Yes. Mm -hmm. On December 3rd of 2018, but they said that this was not a prescription medication. Yeah. Uh, it, the $4 plan at Walgreens. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, as I said, I thought the doctor did a really good job. <laughs> But this is the prescription that I'm really needing. Yes, the Paul Budnick. Oh, that bacterium. Oh, 14 day supply. Non refillable poo. Now, since your family controls the social safety net, yes, I don't feel an obligation to go on Apple. I'm just going to have to go to some churches and see if they can pay for it. And when I found out yesterday that it was actually $17, yes, instead of the $4 plan, pooch. I thought the doctor did a really good job because he actually researched the prescription costs and he said, well, you can contact me if it's more than $4. Oh. Now I found out that the one prescription was $17.19. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was a little concerned because when a physician tells me that it's a prescription and it's not the uh, acne medication, yes. I was kind of wondering because he spent a lot of time with me and it seemed like he really did research the prescriptions. Now did somebody obstruct me from being able to get the four dollar price? Mm -hmm. Did the family decide that they're not going to enforce the laws? <laughs> now my thought is that I'll go to the Safeway and find out how much it is because I know how charities are. <laughs> Unless you bring in the actual cost of the prescription. yes. You can't just walk in and say, well, can you give me $20 so I can get my prescription filled? <laughs> you actually have to go to the pharmacy, and then you find out what it costs, and then you walk to different churches, and you ask them, will you pay for my prescription drug costs? Because it's antibiotics. It's not painkillers. I know how the churches don't pay for painkillers because they don't fucking care how much. They pay for antibiotics so that I can get rid of my bacterial pneumonia. Yes. Now, I thought that if I could get my rights enforced today, yes, there might be somebody that I know that would loan me the money. Maybe my own sons have some money. Pouch! As in, they're kidnapped and being held hostage. Oh! Or maybe I could talk to Marilyn and I could say, well, could you give me a little loan? I need to get... Well, you're obstructing me from being able to speak to an adult woman about the use of a picture of my sister holding her daughter that they adopted from Haiti. Yes. And you don't want me residing with my sons because you want to continue to obstruct the laws of the United States. <laughs> now, I would think that if I got a phone call, yes. I would have more than enough money to pay for the prescription. Ooh, I could borrow some money from my sons, <laughs> considering one of them 16 years old. Yes, you said that. Well, I think they got $20. Yes, yes, yes. And then I could get my victim's resources. I could maybe stay in a hotel instead of having to call Oly Cap in Port Townsend to find out about the HARP program because I'm going to get evicted on the 7th and I'm scheduled to go to court on the 12th as if you're going to continue the fraud yes, of kidnapping, <laughs> obstructing justice, ooch, treason, <laughs> misprison of felony, pouch, color of law violations. You're going to continue to obstruct the laws of the United States of America. Now, it could be, yes, a small gift on my part to a third world prison. Yes, maybe you'd like to stay in prison in Albania. Ooch. It's a nice impoverished nation that I'm sure that, <laughs> you know, this international agreements that we don't enforce as a nation. Oh, now I need you to enforce the laws today so that I could borrow $20 from Maryland or I could borrow $20 from my sons and I wouldn't have to go to churches. I'd like you to enforce the laws today. Now, there seems to be some problem, Pooch. You don't realize how fraudulent it is to have me arrested for false police reports? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
when I was in this county for three whole years. And the only time I left the county is when you transported me across county lines. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I emailed 2,228,000 2, emails and 20,450 videos. And you completely ignore what the law says. <laughs> now, why don't you do me a favor? <laughs> you know... I need to know all the ham radio operators in this county and the rest of the nation. Yes, I know how important radio communications are, and it could have been that you decided to sew in the ham radio. Oh, what did I not see? That old ham radio that goes international. <laughs> then could you go online? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just do a search for radio, R-A-D-I-O, pooch. I'm going to want to know every radio station that broadcasts through the Internet. Yes, because I think you could put radio in the actual broadband itself. Yes, yes, yes. Let's say you're sitting at work, pooch, listening to your favorite radio station. Now, how is it possible that a radio station, AM or FM, oh, look, it's Quim Washington has a radio station. Oh, K-O-N-P, how are you today? It's Paul. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was thinking of Squim, but K-O-N-P's in Port Angeles. Yes. Now, how do you take a radio signal, yes, and broadcast it through the internet? Chee, 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 chee. Just get me the ham radio software where you could be sitting at home communicating with your Nazi relatives. Oh, look at that. <laughs> ham radio on the internet. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> now, I'm really wanting to sue today. I'll tell you that right now. Because...